Real Madrid could dominate European football for years to come after reinforcing their squad during the summer transfer window. Carlo Ancelotti, who secured the La Liga and the Champions League title with Los Blancos last season, has signed a host of new players ahead of the 2022-2023 campaign. However, the depth of Real Madrid's squad for the upcoming season will be a blessing and a curse for the Italian manager, who must manage his players' expectations. Among those who will be arriving at the Bernabeu next term is 22-year-old defensive midfielder Aurelien Chouamini. Chouamini was a key member of the Monaco side that finished third in League One last year, making 45 appearances in the league and 11 in Europe. As a result, he caught the interest of Ancelotti and subsequently signed a six-year deal with Real Madrid through to 2028. Chouamini's arrival will provide additional competition for places at the club, but Ancelotti must find the balance between creating healthy rivalries and not fracturing his dressing room. As a result, has taken a look at how the La Liga giants could line up next season following the arrival of their new stars. Danny Carvajal enjoyed one of his most successful seasons to date during the 2021-2022 campaign. He won his fifth. Champions League title at Real Madrid and also secured a first-place finish in La Liga. Carvajal was vital to their success but once again exhibited a troubling injury record, missing 14 games due to a combination of muscular issues, coronavirus and damaging knocks. That meant Lucas Vasquez stepped into the right back position on more occasions than Ancelotti would have liked, featuring 41 times for Los Blancos last season. However, the 30-year-old performed well when called upon by the Italian manager and is said to be staying at Madrid next season despite being frequently linked with a Premier League move. Carvajal will be eager to re-establish his place as Real Madrid's first choice right back from the get-go and push Vasquez further out of the picture. Ferland Mendy is likely to keep his spot in Ancelotti's starting eleven and could establish himself as the manager's first choice, left back. The 27-year-old was useful in the attacking third for Real Madrid last season, contributing five assists in just 35 appearances in all competitions. But Mendy's position is not guaranteed and he could find himself falling slightly further down the pecking order if Ancelotti decides to push David Alaba out to the left to make room for Edam Milito in the middle. Milito formed an excellent partnership with Alaba last season and even made the departure of Rafael Veron feel like a distant memory. He will unquestionably be looking to start for Ancelotti next term. The Italian boss will face further headaches when trying to keep his defensive players happy as the arrival of Antonio Rudiger will provide more competition for spaces. The former Chelsea defender has already demanded the transfer of left-back Miguel Gutierrez to avoid a war of egos with Alaba, according to reports. El Nacional have stated that Rudiger told Real Madrid president Florentino Perez to sell Gutierrez to decrease the competition for spaces between himself and Alaba. However, the 20-year-old defender is a rising star for the La Liga giants, having already as a result, Ancelotti will have some tough decisions to make and some difficult conversations to have during the 2022-2023 campaign. Mendy, Alaba, Rudiger and Carver Hal before reassessing at a later date. As for the midfield, Ancelotti is likely to select Chouamini, Luca Modric and Casemiro as his trio in the middle of the park. But that won't come without complaints from several other players. Chouamini will become a world-class addition to Real Madrid's midfield over the coming years. The 22-year-old will line up alongside Eduardo Camavinga and feed Valverde in the future but he will spend this season learning from the likes of Modric. Modric, Casemiro and Toni Kroos have been questioned over their age and fitness on countless occasions, but have consistently proven themselves against the best teams in the world. Modric has spent a decade at Real since moving from Tottenham and his desire to finish his career at the club is well known. Kroos joined from Bayern Munich in 2014. Both have now won an incredible five Champions League titles. Real Madrid have successfully planned for life after Modric and Kroos, 
With Marco Asensio and the signing of rising star Eduardo Camavinga from Ren in the summer before they landed the highly rated Chouamini to provide additional strength to their midfield line. Neither Modric or Kroos are ready to call time on their careers in Madrid just yet and subsequently announced their decision to stay at the club for the 2022-2023 season, meaning Ancelotti will be forced to rotate his midfield line next season to give all of his stars minutes adequate minutes. Meanwhile, Karim Benzema will retain his place in the starting eleven next season after excelling for Real Madrid last term. Vinicius Jr. has also established himself as a mainstay in the team after developing into one of the most explosive and sought, after left wingers in the world. The 21 year old had a breakthrough season, scoring 22 goals, registering 20 assists, and winning the Champions League, however. Marcos Asensio, Rodrigo and Eden Hazard will be left to battle it out for the final spot in Ancelotti's starting eleven during the next campaign.